Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are launching the engine and habitat next month, and we have the research for the service habitat, but we don't have a mission slot for it at the moment, which is a little annoying. A little annoying. This will take 21 months. Uh, this is done in two months, four months, five months. All right, so we'll have a slot for it soon enough. Ready for launch, 99% launch reliability, 80% payload reliability on the engine and habitat. Let's go. And it's a big mother of a rocket. We only have a 1% risk of critical failure, and then we have no risk of a negative event. So let's go. Three, two, one. That is a cool looking rocket, man. Big one. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, it's heavy. That makes me nervous. Go, rocket, go. That makes me very nervous. Oh, it's tilting. Oh, it was supposed to tilt. Good. All right, we have a positive event. Nice. Increased capacity. Plus one command on first turn of first task. Okay, not the greatest, but it's fine. SLS block 1B gets a little bit more reliable. That's the first time we have launched it. All right, let's get this underway. We need to deal with drift. So 36 comms, 36 nav, and we need to get our drift to exactly zero and it fluctuates minus one to one every turn. Let's do a signal attenuation test, a gyroscopic stabilization. We have six turns and four commands per turn, but five on this turn. Then I think we'll do a location extrapolation, a mission control monitoring. This is a power heavy turn and a boosting of the transmission. So that takes us to 11 and 9. Our drift is right on the money. And yeah, of course. Damn it. I'll cost an additional... Sure, I'm fine with that. I don't care. We'll fix that when we get to the last turn. Okay, and we're at minus two. So, we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. Then we can do a mission control monitoring and boosting of the transmission. That takes us to 18 and 14. And then I think we'll recharge our power once. And our drift is where it should be. Not that it matters right now. Ooh, an extra comms. Nice. And we get pulled one down. So, what's next? I think an orbital plane adjustment. The boosting of the transmission. Mission control monitoring. 
and a signal attenuation test. Confirm that leaves us with zero power. So we can't resist anything. Two extra comms. Okay, we're at minus two. So we'll do a re power recharge, mission control monitoring. Uh, a gyroscopic stabilization times two. It takes us to 33 and 30. And we'll find out what the needle does in between. Oh, nice. Extra comms. And it took us down to one drift. So we have two turns remaining. I think... We'll boost the transmission, then we'll do two gyroscopic stabilizations. And recharge our power. Oh, I would really like to... So if we do this, we have what we need, then we can just recharge power, and then we'll see what happens uh, with our drift here. Dang it. Uh, we'll accept that. And it took us to zero. Beautiful. So we can actually just recharge power. We're at zero drift. We have our 25% bonus reward. So that's that done. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. Very cool. So this is the ship that will take us to Mars. All right, dock engine with habitat complete. Achieve Earth orbit is the next thing. I would have thought that the it was already in orbit, but well, maybe not because we are launching engine and habitat. So yeah, okay, fine. All right, we need to deal with drift again. Minus three to plus three fluctuates. We have six turns, four commands per turn. We need to get 30 comms, 10 data, and 30 nav. All right. Um, let's do a signal attenuation test, a gyroscopic stabilization, another signal attenuation test, and another gyroscopic stabilization. That takes us to 2, 4, and 12. Confirm. Dang it. I have to resist that. Or we wouldn't be able to do the next one. Okay. It stayed at minus 1. How about we do a mission control monitoring, an orbital plane adjustment, a location extrapolation, and recharge our power. That takes us to 6, 5, and 21. And put our, puts our drift at zero. We can't resist anything, so we'll just have to accept... That took us up to three. So we need to do a mission control monitoring to bring it back.
do something like that to take us to 19, 5, and 20. And minus 2 on the drift. I'm okay with that. Dang it. We'll have to accept that. So we lost 2 and got 1. That takes us to 1 on the drift. We do a recharging of the power, an orbital plane adjustment. Then do... something like that. 22, 4 and 26. It's actually quite hard to get data. All right, that took us took us up to three. So we kind of need to do a mission control monitoring. Then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. And another no, another gyroscopic stabilization, I think. That takes us to 20, 10, and 37. All right, confirm that. Crap. Uh, accept. Next for nav. Nav is what we need the least. All right, we stayed at zero. So if we do this and this, uh, we can't do that. I don't think we'll get our bonus reward here. We won't. We can't. It's not possible if we want to keep our drift centered. Which we do. Better to complete it than fail completely. So no bonus reward, but we completed the mission. And that'll have to do. Alright. Engine and habitat up. We are first. We got... 1,763 support, 350 science for two months. And we're up to 84% Mars readiness. Nice. We've done one of the required missions. We are completing the research. And we now have a request mission here, but I don't care about the request mission because we have our milestone mission here, Miles, Mars Prep Ground Hab. So let's plan that mission out. Definitely give it some extra power. It'll cost four million and take seven months to build. All right. Happiness is complete. Martian Living. Your PR office have suggested attaching internal and external cameras to the ground habitat your agency is planning on sending to Mars. They believe that showing off the living space and the Martian weather will make for an effective marketing campaign building up to your eventual crewed landing mission. Sure, approved. Your mission engineers will attach the cameras, which will be activated if the ground habitat is successfully landed on Mars. What do you mean if? I mean when? All right, Earth Oceans vehicle complete. It is incredibly unreliable. So we're definitely going to go with 
lot of reliability and we'll go in July to get the max. All right, funding review, and we will increase our funding tier. So we'll go up from 867,000 a month to 918,000 a month. That's not bad. Who will go to Mars? Global media is consumed by the question of which astronauts United Space Nerds will send on the crewed mission to Mars. Sylvian Vasquez has to be on that crew, an ex-astronaut commented in a televised interview. They've got the requisite expertise, and most importantly, they've got the guts. All right, gain 200 support. And we are up to the next tier. We need another 18,000 support to hit the tier after this to get up to 969,000 per month. Well, Svesta complete next month. Solar array severely damaged. A deployment malfunction has caused serious damage to a solar array on your modular space station. If not repaired, the shortfall in station power will reduce the science output of your inflatable module by eight months. Astronaut Mar Marine Alvarez has volunteered to perform an EBA to conduct the repairs, though due to the severity of the damage, they estimate only a 50% chance of success. NASA have offered an alternative. They are willing to adapt a scheduled mission to replace the array entirely, but have requested that you share the scientific output of your inflatable mis module mission in return. All right, NASA. NASA offer accepted. Uh, NASA will replace the solar array, preventing any loss of science from your inflatable mission module mission. Gain 25% sure reputation with NASA. NASA has gained science. I'm okay with NASA gaining science. They're so far behind it really doesn't matter. Alright, power module is complete. So supplementary booster reliability bonus increased by 100%. The payload reliability wasn't the greatest. We'll re reuse the shuttle, use the advanced guidance, or actually we'll use the composite casing because we are we're doing experimental fuel, so we'll reuse the Horus and Messier. Yeah, let's do Messier Aerospace. Confirm. Two hundred sixty-six thousand. And the Unity is complete next month. So that's the centrifuge module. Supplementary boosters add one upgrade points. Okay, payload reliability 50%. Jesus. Jesus. Well, we'll reuse Beetlejuice for this. And that's all good. Confirm. Uh, we have a mission on Mars, a request mission, soft surface, subsurface penetrator. No, nah, not right now. We don't have any mission slots available anyway. Right, so Beetlejuice and Horus completes in three months, plus the Mars surface habitat completes in three months. So let's move on to the next event. China is launching Grand Tour in 17 months. Rolf Rossi retires. Astronaut Rolf Rossi has retired and will no longer be available for missions. Okay. Mars surface habitat. Complete. That looks pretty darn cool. 75% payload reliability. And we even got a boost. And then we have our Horus ready, power module, and we have Beetlejuice ready with the centrifuge module. So, let's send Jadius and Mature on this one. Uh, Let's just make sure, because one of these missions is a joint mission, the power module. So the power module will send our test pilot, our multinational. We need to hire another 
Uh, what's a safeguard? Plus one command on final turn of each task. That is very nice. Inexhaustible, no recovery time. Test pilot 2, plus 10% launch reliability. I have a scientist, an athlete, test pilot, multinational engineer, plus 5% payroll, payload reliability. Okay. Um, plus 5% payload reliability would actually be nice for this particular mission. Excuse me. Uh, there. And... I think we'll do a safeguard. Hire him. Confirm. So this is the power module. Multinational test pilot and safeguard. We'll do science. Even though the payload is unreliable, we have three astronauts and we have the safeguard guy. Let's go in August. Confirm. We'll launch in two months. Then we have our centrifuge module, where we have Jadius and Mathieu, scientist and bootstrapper. We'll do science training. Wow, that's even more unreliable. Actually, that is so unreliable that I will change the focus to payload reliability. I think we'll go in October here. Confirm. And then we have the Mars Prep Ground Hab where we need to design a vehicle. The upper stage will be... Ah. The SLS Block 2. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's more reliable. It also takes two months extra to build, but I'm okay with that. And then the booster. You know what? I want to see what this looks like. So we'll do the booster as SLS Block 2 as well. Upgrade points. We'll do... Hmm... Suboptimal launch dates become optimal launch dates. I think I like that. And let's increase the reliability. It'll take longer to build, It'll take 21 months, but I think that's worth it. And we'll call it uh, Martian Living. All right, Martian Living. Vehicle is not valid. Oh, we need boosters. So then we can go here. No, actually, we will get this guy. 23 months to build. We can just do it. Yeah, I am good with this. That's an, a good looking rocket. A good looking rocket. 5.1 million. One year, 11 months it'll take to build that. That's a while. We have a new request mission on the moon. Selenological studies. Wow. That is nice. We don't have any active mission slots just now, but we are launching Earth Oceans next month. Power module in two months. Centrif centrifuge module in four months. So we will be getting some slots. Let's launch this highly unreliable vehicle and it's raining bad conditions we're not going this month we will try next month
And we are almost there with the acts. Two more months of research and we're there. Earth oceans. Let's try it again. Oh, now it's the power module. 88% reliability, that's better. But not great payload reliability, only 65%. 2% risk of going boom, 7% risk of a negative event. Let's go. We have ignition and we have liftoff. Clearing the tower there and we are flying. Go, go, go. Nice. Very good. Hopefully it's a secure launch at least. It is a positive event. Very nice. One command, uh, plus one command on first turn of first task. Okay. And Hermes just doesn't get more reliable than it is. All right. So a power module for the space station. We need to deal with drift. 20 comms, 25 data. We have four turns, five commands for this turn, four commands per turn else or normally. And we need to get our drift up to 10. It's at zero now. So there's only way, two ways to do that. We can't bring it back. So we can hit one of these twice. That's basically it. So 20 and 25. Comms is not easy to get. It's basically there and there. So I think we'll do a manual data collection. Then conduct some experiments. And gyroscopic stabilization. And another one of those, and a plasma wave analysis. That takes us to 12, 5, and 4. Oh, drift will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. So on the final turn, we have to do both this and this. There's just no way around it. Ooh, that was close. Alright, so that gets reduced to zero. Alright, so on the final turn, we have to do that and that. Okie dokie. Let's do two plasma wave analysis. And we'll do a manual data collection and a conducting of experiments. Or just two conducting of experiments. I think just two conducting of experiments is fine. Dang it. We'll resist that. And we'll resist this as well. All right, 16 and 23. Hmm. We do that, then we're at 18 and 29. Then next turn, we have to do this and this, and that will bring us where we need to be. So that's all good. Nice. Very good. Then we'll do a manual data collection, a flight path control. That gives us everything we need. We can recharge three times. And 
all is fine and dandy. We're on the money with the drift. So, and we can resist everything that goes wrong. All right, that was Earth orbit. Then we need to deploy the module systems. Let's do that. Drift again. Uh, drift will be reduced to zero at the start of the next turn. And we need to be at three. So on the last turn, we have to do this. We need five, thirty-five, and five. So it's really data that we need to worry about a lot. As in a lot, a lot. So 2.11.2 and the drift is fine. Oh, a little positive event there. Very nice, an extra data. Always welcome. We'll assist that. We have a lot of power to work with, which is nice. Okay, let's do this and this again. Takes us to 417. And then do this and this again. 4234. That seems good to me. Nice. Another positive event there. Give us an extra nav. Uh, that didn't go well, but we will resist it. Okay, two turns remaining. If we do this again... And then... This... And this, that gives us everything except the data, but we need to do this anyway, next turn. I think this is fine. We'll resist it. Uh, that didn't matter. But it doesn't matter if we resist it either, really, so fine, fine. Okay. So, if we do a plasma wave analysis and a conducting of experiments, that takes us to three drift, gives us everything we need, and we can do three recharges. That works for me. Oh, and a little positive event there. And there we go. Beautiful! That's gonna give us some science. 2,261 support, 236 science for 20 months. And a lot of reputation with NASA, though we were already full on reputation with them. Okay. Now we have an active mission slot. And we have a mission that we need to launch, but we'll do that in the next one. And we might not do anything with this act, this uh, mission slot, because we're done with acts next month. So we'll see what that does, because we actually have done. We're missing the last uh, prep mission, which is currently prepping. Mark G's will improve payload reliability, crew capacity, and power for the crewed Mars landing mission earn by completing research. Okay. So we'll need to maybe need to complete some more research or something because right now our Mars chance of mission success is low.
But I guess once this will be done, it'll be better. And it'll be done next month. So uh, come back and see uh, what happens. Are we going to Mars now or what are we? Come back and find out in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.